Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. I want to say thank you for trusting me to read for you. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, the subscription to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Um, so let's jump into this. Um, I hope that everyone is safe and happy and just, um, you know, just coping, right? All right, so... Um, Let's get two cards for your situation for this week. Okay. And then we'll get two more cards for your advice. What's the advice for Aries? And then we'll get two more cards for your outcome. All right. I think there's been a, a an important change, a turn of events. Finally, you guys are getting it. It's an aha moment that brings you to the place of moving yourself forward. Um, God, spirit, angels, divinity, whatever you believe in is with you. And they wanted you to get to this place, this point of understanding uh, the power that you, you possess within yourself. Um, your willpower. Discipline yourself in regards to moving forward in, in a project, in, in a relationship, in anything. Uh, discipline yourself in regards to what you give your energy, your effort, your time to. Um, do know that once you actually have this self-mastery of self, of yourself, once you finally come to knowing um, the power that you possess, others will see it there will be some type of public recognition here um yeah that's in the cards right so i think that's what this week is about about maybe a cycle ending also um ending because you finally you once again you had that aha moment you finally get it so let's see what this is about now this could be about business relationships marriage um you need to put yourself first and how others are going to see you is actually putting yourself first okay so this week is about the king of fire you aries and the magician yeah um it's about being focused focusing your direction knowing what it is you want going after your passions the affirmation of the king of fire or king of wands is i want or i desire so actually being on fire in regards to taking hold um being authoritarian being the person in the forefront pushing something forward um having the idea the magician here in moving on these ideas um you have all the resources you need it says uh, you you're trying to essentially play your cards right you you you're governing what you say what you speak you are manifesting also uh, the king of fire this is about the the action the doing the manipulation of by way of um, energetically um, moving or putting your energy into something um, that's all magic really is you know it's it's the act of doing so some of you this week are definitely manifesting a new life or manifestations are coming to fruition or you're understanding that you need to manifest better for some of you okay the advice here is the hermit and the four of fire yes um some of you may already be doing this secluding yourself in your home making some um, upgrades in your home um meditate learn learn about yourself self-discovery it says that right now aries you're looking for answers to those questions you are confused about you're looking for answers outside of yourself but it says the answers you know what they are because they're going to come from within um it says that um you're going to find peace and contentment and, and clarity once again of self if you just be by yourself if you set yourself apart uh this is learning about self this is learning about uh, a relationship learning about being knowledgeable about maybe a relationship coming into you also or someone wanting to have a happy life happy home with you in some sense for some of you 
or this is what you desire it says the the advice here is for you to just spend some time alone in meditation so that you can also come to a place of um, stability maybe in your home some of you don't like being home alone or alone because it it, it brings up those thoughts the disappointment, the hurt, the pain that you've suffered or you are suffering. It says the successful completion of a project. I think the project is you. Self-discovery, pushing yourself and propelling yourself forward. The outcome here is, wow, the strength card and the two of cups. Okay, so some relationship is going to move forward here. Um, someone some of you learning why a relationship came into your life or what this person means to you or what it is you're supposed to do with this person that is the advice also um, it says if you're confused about why this is happening why with this particular person it says set yourself apart Rest in meditation and prayer. Let that be your question that you ask, that you ask in your prayer. If that's a question that you have. Because I think you're going to get your answers. Um, and then the outcome here is. You releasing that harsh judgment that you have. Toward either relationships, yourself, sex, intimacy. Moving yourself forward. Opening yourself up. Um. You forgive and you have compassion for those who maybe even have done you wrong or they put you in a third party situation or a toxic environment. It says that because you release this harsh judgment, um, a relationship is going to grow stronger. It's going to be a positive resolution here to any conflict. If the conflict is being apart, not being able to speak to, be with, um, talk to your significant other. Because it looks like somebody's already, this this man, if this is not you, Aries, is, he's typically married with children. Okay? So, that may be for some of you. This relationship came into your life for a reason and you have to understand that and you have to really rest in that knowing that this is all happening for a reason. One, two, three, three um, major arcana letting you know that it, it's all for a reason. It's all for purpose. It's one, nine, and eleven for you to understand how you deal with others also just about compassion and forgiveness seeing the big picture of this some of you the question is why did I meet this person if you have that question um, you always take advantage of the one question one answer just send an email to the email address below and you can ask that question um, it looks like this is all on you Aries if you want to release the harsh judgment the unforgiveness just be, and it may be that you had to feel this way about this person for a reason uh the, i'm meaning that they may have caused it you know it, it may be reasoning behind that but it's still but still it is up to you to come to a place of forgiveness once again i seeing the bigger picture uh it says you're ready you're ready to take yourself to the next level also in regards to um career, business, creating stability in your life. Okay. Yeah. It says communicate clearly and you have a yes answer. So communicate clearly how you feel. Especially when you come to some realization. We have a yes answer. Okay. Um, we clarify our yes answers here at the channel. So let's go ahead and do that. The yes answer. 
for Aries. Ten minutes. Jeez. Three of Wands, Two of Pentacles, The Sun. Yes. In regards to communicating with someone about a love affair, or maybe even a business deal, but definitely a love affair, um, be open and honest. Your words might be guided by the divine, by spirit. They'll give you the words to speak to this person. Um, and it'll cause them to come to some type of clarity and judgment. A decision made. Well, they'll see that, you know, their life is changing. And maybe that tower that they have built up around themselves, they're... Uh, another relationship that they're in it'll come falling down here because some some of these people may understand that losing you is um is, is to lose something of value so they're coming to a choice about who or what they should partner with who what they should partner with yeah, definitely a choice here. Being tired of the old but not seeing the, what the new cup offers. Too busy, focused on maybe even dating. Dating several people. Dating within a relationship. Wow, four ones again. It looks like somebody takes the leap here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I don't know. Um, so Aries, it says yes if you communicate about making future plans it looks like this person gets it or you communicate about how if this person doesn't have any future plans with you or they can't even verbalize them to you how you're walking away and this person comes to a place of realizing that um they will be you're valuable to their world to you're an asset so um they come to a place of uh, making a decision okay aries i hope that this reading resonates with you and i'm sorry it was a pretty much about love so if you were looking for a career in finance go ahead and go over to the website book your own reading there um or take advantage of the one question one answer aries thank you take care have a really good week